folks, uh, welcome back to Halloween Haunted Fawn. Today we're going to be talking about The Last of Us. I had a video reviewing it uh, quite some time ago, but Steph just finished playing it, and we wanted to fangirl about how freaking fantastic this game is. Yes. So I'll leave it to Steph to explain how her experience was. Okay. Um, so I got this game last year for Christmas, and I didn't actually really pick it up until Katie came here to visit. Um, I had tried it on um, a harder difficulty and died in this one area multiple times. I kind of just lost interest because I'm like, I can't fucking do this. <laughs> um, so we played it through when she was here and I'm so glad I did. Um, and I'm so glad that I have this game because this game really delivers in both um, survival horror, action, and storyline. Um, this is an amazing story. Um, it's an amazing story between... Um, a young girl and a dad-like figure and it was quite emotional at times. Um, the very beginning almost made me cry. Uh, the very beginning is very sad. Um, and uh, it's just great because there's so much character development in this game. You see Joel kind of go from this, you know, hard-ass, tough guy to kind of like a teddy bear almost at the end. Um, and Ellie's transformation is amazing as well. Her being kind of this like bratty, angry kid and she you know, really connects with this guy. Um, gameplay, it was really good. I really loved the sound, like the, what would you call it, like the sound? The listening. The listening thing where you can kind of like, you know, crouch down and like hear where people are and then you can, you know, use that to your advantage to sneak up on enemies or run away or whatever you want to do. Um, a lot of really good weapons. Um, I love that you can make like bombs and stuff and Molotov cocktails, that's really fun. Um, yeah, it was a really fun game, and you know, there's not a lot of games that you either, I feel like you either kind of like the ending of a game or you don't like an ending of a game, you're either disappointed or you're really happy with it, but this one really got me thinking, I did not like it at first, like I even told Katie like after, I was, I was like, I'm so torn by this ending because I'm not sure I'm happy with it, but I'm not sure I'm mad about it either. And it just really got me thinking. I sat up for like two hours after just thinking about about the ending, you know? And then in the end I realized that Naughty Dog did such a good job at kind of creating a line of like what's what's okay and what's not okay, you know, like where do you draw the line? And they did such a good job on that. And I've decided that it does have a kick-ass ending. It does. So it's honestly like I, I've played it so many times and, and I watched her play it as well this time and it's like it just gives me chills from the very beginning to yeah. the very end. It's one of those games that literally I've never played something so good, like in every sense. It's just so cohesive and it's like glitch free and it's yeah. just like so no smooth and just like literally the best game I've have ever played as to this date. So <laughs> yeah. I mean I love it. I love Ellie. I love how close she gets to Joel and the relationship that they build. It's so it's so heartwarming. And I also love that Ellie is a badass chick. She's a little kid. She doesn't have to be scantily clad or whatever. She's just strong, tough female character, yeah. which you never get to see that often. And you don't get to see a lot of strong female characters that are younger like yeah. her, you know what I mean? Like it's always like an older woman and she's just, she's still a teenager and she's awesome. Yeah, know? exactly. That could be inspiring for uh, teenagers okay. as well. Yeah. And this is going to be a spoiler for the DLC. So if you haven't played the DLC yet, then stop watching now. You've had time to pause. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So yeah, DLC was awesome. Um, at first, I was a little bit skept skeptical because it was pretty expensive, but I went and I bought it anyway because I just I love the game so much. I just wanted to experience because Katie was telling me that you get to play as Ellie in that one. Um, so there's a little bit of action, but I think it's mainly story. It's it's her going back. It's in the past with her friend Riley. Is her name? Okay. Um, and it's kind of um, it explores what happened to her, how she kind of gets bit, um, her relationship with her friend, and basically just giving you a better insight into who Ellie is and, and where she comes from, which was really cool. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really touching and it had such such a good message about like friendship and, um, and all that. So I, I thought it was really, really quite good. Another Definitely thing. worth the money. Another thing about Ellie too is that she's such a strong female character and then in this DLC you find out that maybe she's bisexual or lesbian or just maybe that's how she is due to the zombie apocalypse and having limited choices. Yeah. But either way you get to see that and I think that's important for like adolescents to see 
kids that are questioning themselves to see a young girl kind of have that experience too, maybe start to question themselves as well. It's nice to have a good positive role model for those kids who might be experiencing the same things in games. Yeah, um, definitely. And I mean, you don't see that a lot in games, um, which I thought was, was really awesome. Um, that's the thing, like, what does it matter? You know, yeah. I just, I thought that was a really, really cool thing to throw in there. I know that, um, Kate was, was telling me there's stink. a lot of, there's a lot of stink <laughs> about, about the, the kiss scene, um, but I, th I thought it fit, like, I thought yeah. it just, it just worked, like, I just, you know, like... It felt natural, yeah. you could kind of, I mean, I think that you had a feeling about Ryan, or, uh, Ellie at the, like, when you, when you played with her in the first game, like, in The Last of Us, that maybe she's not quite, like, she's maybe a little bit more masculine kind of mm -hmm. and then you see it kind of like oh yes like she does kind of like girls but that doesn't mean anything major it's like yeah that's just it's like a minor plot is. point it's like who, like yeah. it's not even like a huge deal but the fact that they put it in there i think and it's innocent. made it more awesome like you got to have your first kiss before the zombie apocalypse really got to you and, and bitch yeah, right <laughs> bitch in the ass so um i like uh pros uh pretty much everything yeah. Cons, um, cons, uh, there are some frustrating moments, but I think that's just, uh, my, my gaming. I may have ran in when I should have hid and snuck up on people. I'm kind of a loose cannon, so, <laughs> so yeah, that, that was a little bit frustrating sometimes. I kept dying, but it's no fault of, in the game, it's really. It's one of the harder games. <laughs> yeah. So we always recommend playing it on easy first. Yeah, play it for story, story first, and then challenge yourself after. Yeah. So that's our take. Well, I love The Last of Us. It's now my all-time favorite game. Hopefully, we'll get up there for stuff as well. It's oh, it's that. definitely up there. <laughs> it's incredible. So that's our quick review of The Last of Us and uh, Left Behind the DLC for The Last of Us. So thank you so much for watching. This is Steph, my bestie. Hi. I'm Katie Fox, and Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye.